For weeks, Kansas farmer Dale Henderson's dog, Max, kept bringing him rocks. But these were not ordinary rocks. They were heavy, dense, and had a strange metallic smell. Dale would find them on his porch in the morning, another one waiting for him, a strange gift from his loyal German shepherd. He initially dismissed them as just odd, iron-rich stones from the woods. But as the pile grew, so did his curiosity. He had no idea that his dog was not just playing fetch. He was leading his owner to a discovery of cosmic proportions. For beneath the quiet soil of his ordinary Kansas farm lay a scattered, ancient treasure. A treasure that had fallen from the sky thousands of years ago. A discovery that would ultimately change his life forever. But before we start our story, smash that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notifications bell so you won't miss any of our new incredible stories. To understand the treasure that Max the dog was unearthing, we must first understand what a meteorite is. Every day, our planet is bombarded by an estimated 100 tons of dust and sand-sized particles from space. Most of this burns up harmlessly in our atmosphere, creating the fleeting beauty of shooting stars. But sometimes, a larger object, a fragment of an asteroid from the vast belt between Mars and Jupiter, survives its fiery descent through the atmosphere and strikes the Earth. This surviving remnant is a meteorite, a physical messenger from the cosmos, a piece of the primordial material from which our solar system was formed over 4.5 billion years ago. Scientists classify meteorites into three main types, stones, irons, and the rarest and most beautiful of all, the stony irons. And within this rarest category lies a type of meteorite so beautiful and so sought after by collectors that it is often called the gemstone of outer space. This is the palisite. A palisite meteorite is a breathtaking sight. It is composed of a solid metallic matrix of an iron nickel alloy, but suspended within that metal, like cosmic stained glass, are crystals of a green, translucent mineral called olivine. When a palisite is cut into a thin slice and polished, light shines through the olivine crystals, creating a stunning mosaic of glowing golden green gems set against a backdrop of shimmering alien metal. They are, without a doubt, the most beautiful objects not of this world. Scientists believe that palisites are fragments from the core mantle boundary of a large asteroid, a place where the heavy iron core met the rocky, olivine-rich mantle. A catastrophic collision in the ancient past shattered this asteroid, sending these rare and beautiful fragments hurtling through space, with a few eventually finding their way to Earth. Palisites are incredibly rare making up less than 1% of all known meteorites. And as it turns out, the quiet farmland of Kiowa County, Kansas, was the final resting place for one of the most significant palisite falls in history. Our story now travels back to the 1880s. The land that would one day become Dale Henderson's farm was then just an open prairie being settled by homesteaders. As these early farmers began to plow the virgin soil for the first time, their heavy steel plows would occasionally strike something incredibly hard and heavy. They would unearth strange, rust-covered rocks that were far too heavy to be normal stones. In 1885, a woman named Mary Kimberly, the wife of a local farmer, took a particular interest in these strange rocks. She was an amateur geologist and was convinced they were not from Earth. She sent a fragment to a university for analysis. The confirmation came back, stunning the scientific community. The strange rocks of Kiowa County were indeed meteorites, and they were the incredibly rare and beautiful palisite type. The discovery triggered a meteorite rush. Scientists and collectors descended upon the area, which came to be known as the Brenham Strewn Field. A strewn field is the vast elliptical area over which fragments of a single large meteor are scattered as it breaks up in the atmosphere. The Brenham strewn field was massive, covering several square miles. For the next few decades, numerous large and valuable specimens were found, including one colossal meteorite weighing over 1,000 pounds, which was named the world's largest palisite. But by the mid-20th century, the easy surface finds had all been collected. The Great Brenham Fall was thought to have given up all its major secrets. The land was converted to farmland, and for generations, the story of the meteorites became a piece of local folklore, a half-forgotten tale of rocks that fell from the sky. Now, we return to the present day to Dale Henderson and his dog, Max. For weeks, the German Shepherd had been disappearing into the small wooded creek bed at the edge of Dale's property and returning with these strange, heavy, metallic-smelling rocks. At first, Dale stacked them on his porch, thinking they were just curiosities. But their sheer weight and the strange, smooth, black fusion crust on their surface 
began to align with the old local legends of the Star Rocks. His neighbor, who had been farming the adjacent field, stopped by one afternoon and mentioned that he too had been finding similar strange stones for years. Dale's curiosity finally reached a tipping point. He loaded 12 of the heaviest and most promising looking rocks into the back of his pickup truck and began the long drive to the university's geology department, hoping to finally get an answer. He didn't know if he was hauling a truck bed full of worthless iron ore or a priceless treasure trove of gems from outer space. He was about to find out. When Dale arrived at the university's geology department, he was met by Professor Chen, a man who had seen his fair share of meteor wrongs, ordinary, earth-born rocks that hopeful people had mistaken for treasures from space. The professor was polite but skeptical as Dale, a humble farmer with dirt under his fingernails, began to unload the heavy, rust-colored rocks from the back of his truck. But as Professor Chen lifted the first rock, his professional skepticism began to fade, replaced by a flicker of genuine excitement. It was far too heavy for a normal rock of its size. Its surface was covered in the telltale regmaglyphs, the thumbprint-like indentations created as the rock's surface melted during its fiery passage through Earth's atmosphere. He took the rocks into his lab. The first test was simple. He held a powerful magnet to one of the stones. It stuck fast, confirming a high concentration of iron and nickel, the primary ingredients of most meteorites. But the final, definitive test would reveal the true, breathtaking nature of the discovery. Professor Chen took one of the smaller rocks and secured it in a vise. He then started a specialized diamond-tipped rock saw. With a high-pitched whine, the saw blade began to slice the rock in half. After a few minutes, the cut was complete. The professor sprayed the cut surface with a fine mist of water to clean away the rock dust. And what was revealed made his jaw drop. Dale, who had been pacing nervously outside, was called into the lab. The professor held up the two halves of the rock. The sight was otherworldly, a beauty not born of this earth. The interior was a shimmering, metallic matrix of polished silvery iron and nickel. But suspended within that metal, like glowing embers trapped in a silver web, were hundreds of translucent golden-green crystals of olivine. Dale was looking at a perfect cross-section of a palisite meteorite. The professor explained, his voice filled with awe, that Dale's dog had not just been finding meteorites, he had been finding some of the rarest and most beautiful objects in the entire solar system. The discovery created a firestorm of excitement in the scientific community. Geologists and professional meteorite hunters, armed with sophisticated metal detectors and ground-penetrating radar, descended upon Dale Henderson's quiet Kansas farm with his full and generous permission. What they discovered was that the small, wooded creek bed where Max had been digging was the epicenter of a previously unknown, incredibly dense cluster of the Brenham Palisite. For the next several months, the quiet soybean farm was transformed into a full-scale professional excavation site. They unearthed dozens and then hundreds of individual palisite meteorites, ranging in size from small pebbles to massive specimens weighing over 100 pounds. Dale's farm was, in fact, one of the richest and most significant meteorite fields in North America. The world of professional meteorite hunting is a highly competitive and lucrative one. Rare meteorites, especially those with an incredible story and stunning beauty like the palisites, are highly sought after by museums, universities, and wealthy private collectors. The value is determined by rarity, size, and aesthetic beauty. Palisites, with their cosmic stained glass appearance, are the crown jewels of the meteorite world. The specimens found on Dale's farm, rich in iron, nickel, and precious metals like iridium and palladium, were worth thousands of dollars per pound. As the news of the discovery spread, a bidding war began. Museums from all over the world and high-end collectors began making offers. Dale Henderson, the humble farmer who had worried about the price of feed, suddenly found himself a multi-millionaire, but the story's real hero was Max, the German Shepherd. He became an international celebrity, the meteorite hunting dog, who found a treasure from the stars. His story was a testament to the incredible and often mysterious instincts of animals. In the end, the discovery on the Henderson farm did more than just change one man's life. It provided a priceless new collection of specimens for scientists to study, offering new clues into the formation of our solar system some 4.5 billion years ago. It is a profound and heartwarming story of how a treasure forged in the chaos of a cosmic collision and sent on a billion-year journey through space finally ended its journey in a quiet Kansas field, only to be uncovered by the persistent and loving instinct of a farmer's loyal dog. It's a reminder that sometimes the most incredible secrets in the universe are not found by looking up at the stars, 
but by looking down at the ground right beneath our feet.